Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the Smart Gallery plugin for Character Creator and iClone. So we're going to talk a little bit about what the Smart Gallery is, um, how it's useful. Essentially it's a way to kind of consolidate your content all into one area. You can customize where your content is found and it just allows for easier discovery of content that you've purchased from the content store. So a lot of times when people purchase from the content store, uh, they struggled at first to find out where all the content is and all sorts of different folders is all over the place. So this kind of makes it a lot easier to find that content and apply it to your character. Okay, so let's start off from the basics. Uh, when you have Smart Gallery, when you've uh, downloaded the plugin, you can go up, go up here to uh, Plugins and you can find Smart Gallery right here. You can also use the Shift F4 hotkey to load it up and it'll load up the Smart Gallery tab right here. Now the first time you load it up, you're going to have to log in. Okay, you can go ahead and just select Log in there. And I'm just entering my information really quick. There we go. And you're going to have to accept the terms of the end user license, agree license agreement the first time you uh, log in there. And then just go ahead and press start. Now once you press start, it's going to start syncing all of your content. You can see the syncing uh, little uh, bar there below. And it's basically going to build up a database of content on your machine so you don't need to re-download all the content. So anything that you've already you know purchased and downloaded onto your machine, it's going to sync that to your smart gallery. Okay, so when, if the thumbnail is gray, that means you haven't downloaded it yet. So you've purchased it, but you haven't downloaded it. If the thumbnail is colored like these ones right here, that means you've downloaded it and uh, purchased it and downloaded it already. It's already in your content manager. Okay, you can also see this one right here hasn't been downloaded. It has a little green kind of cloud arrow thing at the very top right there. That means it hasn't been downloaded either. Okay, so if you want to download content, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can simply just double click on the thumbnail and it'll start a little status bar here. It'll kind of gradually go down. You'll see it'll become colored. That means it's downloading that content and boom, there it is. It's already finished downloading. And you can right click on the uh, content item, go into uh, product info and you can find out how many items are in this pack. In this case, it's six. Okay, a very simple pack. You can see right now, by the way, we are in pack view uh, as opposed to item view. We'll talk about these two in separate tutorials. But if you want, you can simply double click on the pack and find all the items in that pack. OK, so in this case, we have a couple of suits and the helmets and uh, shoulder armor and all that stuff. OK, so we can go back here. Um, another way you can download content. Let's find another one here. This one right here. We can right click on it and select install content. OK, and that'll start begin downloading that one as well. Um, alternatively, if you want to uh, uninstall content, you can do that as well. You can right click on any item and select uninstall content. OK. And then it'll become gray again. You'll see the cloud appear uh, one more time. And there you go. You can also install multiple content at the same time as well. So if I wanted to, uh, you know, select all these ones, I can hold control and click on multiple items there and right click and install them all at the same time. And if you want to see the installation queue, you can go up here and select view installing list. And you'll see all the items in your install queue that are uh, um, being installed right now. And it'll gradually go through that list. And once it's finished, uh, you know, you'll see again, it'll update as a colored thumbnail and so on and so forth. Now I can also search for content as well. You can see, by the way, there's various categories here. If we go under project, you know, these are all the projects that I've, uh, that I've, uh, downloaded and uh, purchased. Uh, there's a number of different character packs like the, uh, CC3 base characters, elite character pack and all this fun stuff, uh, fantasy set Paladin. Uh, these are stuff that I haven't, uh, haven't, uh, downloaded yet, but I've purchased. And you can see this fantasy place at Darksider. Again, if I double click on that, you can see there's a number of different categories here. There's the uh, CC avatars under character. Under cloth, you can see there's it's categorized by shirts, pants, skirts, or else, you know, hip protectors, whatever you want to call it, shoes. And there's also there's a lot of accessories in this pack as well. So you can see a very comprehensive pack. Uh, we can also go back here and right click on that pack and view product info. And you can see 121 items in this pack, so quite a few. Okay, we'll talk about that in more detail a little bit later on. But if I want to search for content, let's go up here to uh, cloth. And you can see we have this fantasy playset Wizards Female, for example. I've already downloaded this. We can click on it and you can see all the items. We can go up to shirts. Okay, so there's a number of cool uh, gypsy looking wizard uh, female shirts. Okay, uh, skirts, coats and all that stuff. If I want to apply one of these to my character, I can simply uh, click and drag it or I can double click it. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, double click this uh, lady pirate top here. And that's going to apply to our female character on the left here. And I need to right click on the uh, item here and remove this uh, white top so it's not uh, poking through. And we can also probably take away that tie as well. We can just double click on that little tie there and delete that. 
Okay, so now she has this cool, uh, you know, kind of a mix of modern and uh, and sorceress. Okay, uh, the sorceress top kind of fits that style uh, quite nicely. And again, if you want to go back into all of your content, just simply click the back button here. And uh, again, there's all these different categories. Uh, you can browse these uh, on your own time. You can also search for items in your smart gallery as well under the search field. Uh, let's go up here and uh, click filter. You can see we can search by name, author, and tag. And these are all found in the product info again. So if I wanted to uh, find that wizard uh, female pack that we purchased, I can go type in uh, wizard here and press enter. And you can see there wizards female will appear uh, as we, after we search for wizards. We can go into that pack and see all the various items under all or the various uh, subcategories as well. Let's go ahead and click back for now. Now, if you're like me, you probably have a lot of custom content as well in your content manager. And if we go to, uh, let's twirl all this up here. If we go to uh, all, uh, let's just twirl all these project uh, and clothing uh, categories up here as well. You can see at the bottom we have custom, okay? So right now in our custom uh, folder, we have nothing in the smart gallery, okay? And that's because we haven't updated it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my content tab here. I'm just going to bring the content tab over here. Click and drag the, uh, click and drag it over here. Um, so under, uh, if we go to our custom tab right here, these are all the custom content, uh, custom things that I've uh, saved in the past. Okay, so you can see down here we have a girl, we have Surge Demo 2, we have a number of different stuff under, uh, you know, Poser and, and uh, Avatar and stuff. Uh, clothed Avatar, you can see right here. I don't have a lot of custom content on this machine, actually, but this is where you can find all your custom projects and stuff. Now, if I want to import that into my Smart Gallery, what I can do, let's go to our projects here and let's import a, a project. Let's import this uh, Surge 3D Demo 2, okay? So from the Content Manager, I can right-click it and select Import into Smart Gallery, okay? And once we do that, you can see it'll import directly into the Smart Gallery here. If we go to Back, it's in our Custom folder, okay? So this is a project in the Custom folder right there. Under Project, you can see uh, it's the same as the Project folder in the Custom tab. All right, uh, and if I save, if I save a new project, so let's go back here to our main tab. Say, for example, I wanted to save this uh, girl on the screen as current project. Well, I can just go ahead again to custom projects here and press the plus key on the bottom. Let's save this as a uh, pirate girl since it's a pirate top, okay? Um, pirate, whoops, where's my finger there? Pirate top, okay? Uh, pirate girl, okay, and press enter. And that'll uh, update immediately in our custom tab. You can see Pirate Girl, we probably want to get her head a bit, for, a bit further down there. Uh, so we're not cutting off in the thumbnail, but uh, that's fine for our purposes right there. So once you save custom content, it'll automatically update in your smart gallery. Otherwise, you can just simply right click any item like this demo, for example, and import into smart gallery. Okay, and there we go. Fine and dandy, let's go back here. Now again, if you have tons of custom content and you want to import it all by, by folders and stuff, you can also do it using the Explorer as well. So if we go up here to our menu, we can go ahead and click Import Custom Content. And it'll ask you to import like a custom uh, folder. So we're, again, we're in our default custom folder for Character Creator 3. Your, your uh, path might be different, but it'll automatically assign. So we can go to, uh, let's go for example to Avatar. And we'll import all our clothed avatars that we saw in earlier. And just go ahead and select Folder. And we'll just call it, yeah, clothed avatars, whatever. Press enter. Okay, and then you can see it'll add in a custom folder called clothed avatars. And what are we going to find in there? The same stuff we have in our avatar custom project clothed. Okay, so these items right here. So we imported that custom folder in. Now, uh, probably what you want to do when you first uh, load up Smart Gallery is you want to import in all of your custom content at once. So again, the easiest way to do that, go to the same method here import custom content, and just select your CC3 uh, custom uh, base folder here, okay? So under custom, CC3 creator 3, uh, character creator 3 custom rather, and select folder. And you can see there's a conflict with existing items because we already imported some. We can just press yes to overwrite that and press okay to import to CC3 custom. Okay, and then you can see a CC3 custom folder appears. And if we go into that, you can see all of the custom content that we have. Again, we're in all, we can go into uh, separate projects. You can go into custom hair uh, templates that I've uh, saved previously, custom shirts, custom pants, and all this stuff that we've uh, previously saved. Now say for example, I wanted to create my own custom pack in, character, in the Smart Gallery as well. So if we go down to uh, custom here, I can simply right click in here and create a pack. Let's call this pack uh, girl, okay? 
And what we're going to do is we're going to save all these custom items on our character. So let's go ahead and save the, um, the top here. Let's just save this as a custom item like this one right here. Double click it. And we're going to go over here to uh, clothing. Uh, make sure we're in the custom tab, obviously. And go to shirts. And we'll go ahead and press uh, plus. We'll call this one uh, pirate top. Okay, just like that. Or we'll call it uh, girl top. Okay, because we're going to call it, uh, we're going to save it all into the girl folder. Okay, and these uh, shorts, we can go ahead and just select the shorts. Um, we want to make sure that we have the shorts selected and go into, uh, where we go here, uh, pants. Okay, and under pants, we'll just save these. Again, I've previously saved it as short shorts. We'll just go ahead and save it uh, one more time as, uh, let's call them girl shorts. Oops, shorts, there we go. Okay, and uh, maybe let's try one more thing like these uh, shoes, for example. Select the shoes, just double click them if they don't select that first, and go down to shoes, and we'll call these, press the plus button, we'll call them girl, whoops, shoes. Okay, I'm just keeping the naming things simple just to avoid any naming confusion. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go into uh, all under my pack view here, and let's just search for stuff that has girl in the title, okay? So again, this is going to search for stuff. Oh, we need to go to our custom tab rather. Uh, in custom, we need to search for uh, uh, custom. We need to search for girl here. Okay, let's type in girl. So you can see there's the girl top that I saved. There's the girl shoes and the pirate girl uh, CC project that I saved. All the stuff here. So uh, what I want to do is just control and select all these. And I want to right click and select move to. And then I want to move to my pack or my folder rather that I called girl. Okay. So now they're no, they'll, they'll no longer be in this uh, all. If we go back and we go into our girl folder here, everything will be saved in this folder, right? And that's exactly what we want. We can also save motions as well. Let's go, there, go ahead and do that really quick. Let's go to motions and save a custom motion here. Uh, you can see I've already saved this previously. Uh, we want to get a nice thumbnail view and press plus. And we'll call this girl pose, okay? And then if we go again to our... Uh, custom folder here and type in a uh, girl. Whoops. Make sure you double click it and type in girl. Okay. You see girl pose right there, right click it and move to, and we're going to move that to the girl pack. Okay. Or the girl folder rather that we saved. And you can see there is our, our motion, the uh, pose right there, the shoes, the top, the shorts and the whole project file there. Okay. With their head cut off. Uh, so again, one thing that may be useful to do as well is to create a thumbnail for your folder. Okay, for your custom pack here. You can see right now we don't have a thumbnail. This is the template uh, pencil and paper uh, thumbnail here. So what I'm going to do here is just get a nice uh, close-up view of our character just like this. Uh, maybe a nice uh, view like this. We'll close down our content manager for now since we uh, don't need this anymore. Let's get a nice uh, view like this here. Something nice and close that shows the, our, our character. And go to render and render image. Let's call it a PNG. Viewport resolution is fine. And we'll go to export. And we'll just export this to our desktop. We'll call it uh, Girl Thumbnail. Okay. And go ahead and save that. And there's going to be our, that's going to be our thumbnail. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close this down and close down our render window. And right click on Girl and select Load Thumbnail. Okay. And we'll find on our desktop, we will find the Girl Thumbnail. And boom. So you can see there's our thumbnail for the Girl Pack now. And if we go in there, all the custom stuff that we saved, all right? So that's a really useful way just to organize everything. And again, the advantage of the Smart Gallery is it allows you to really customize where your content is, where it's found. You can customize all sorts of uh, packs for yourself. And it's much easier once you purchase a new content item. If you go to all, if we purchase this Apocalypse uh, Alternative Equipment Pack or this uh, Base Equipment Pack, we can click in there. You can see all the all the different folders that are, uh, you know, that uh, all, the, all the stuff is installed in. Okay, so there's tons of different folders. And without the smart gallery, it's a little bit frustrating to go through the content manager and try to find all these items uh, one by one. But uh, luckily with the smart gallery, they're all found in the same place. So that's really the advantage that it makes uh, accessing your content a lot faster and easier. So that's really all I wanted to talk about in this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out our other tutorials on the smart gallery so you can learn more about how you can use it more efficiently. And I hope to see you in the next video.